Alright guys, how's it going? So a very quick video for today and I want to take a look at the new VDB modifier in Blender 2.91 Now this is today's build so it's pretty damn fresh to be honest but I'll cover some of the new features as well and one of the things that I really do like is being able to search in the properties so I can now type in something like meta and I'll bring all the metadata up Another thing we can do here is, let me just pause this animation, is we now have parametric objects, which is pretty cool to be honest, so I can do things like this. Hey, nice and easy. Something that should have been there years ago. Now there is more to Blender 2.91 than these two options, obviously, but let's take a quick look at the VDB modifier, or the volume modifier. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to add in a volume empty, so I'll come up to add, I'll go to volume, you can see here we have the option to import an open VDB sequence or we can add in an empty. Now I'll then come to the modifier of the empty, add the modifier and a mesh to volume. Now I know there's ways we can do this in the node editor but this just makes life just a little bit easier to be honest. I'll use the dropper tool and I'll select my animation and you'll immediately see that I get results. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the mesh so we can see the volume and let's take a quick play. Excellent. Now we can control the density, so if we really want to push the density of the object up, we can. We have an option to fill the volume, so we can take this on or off. We can control things like the exterior bandwidth, and just think of that as an expansion. And we also have resolution mode, so we can do a voxel amount or voxel size. So the more voxels we obviously get, so I'll double this up to 64, you'll get more detail. Now generally I'll find you're probably sitting around 128 to get a much more refined detail so we can get something like this and it's now a cloud man a dancing cloud man excellent so that's pretty much the mesh to volume modifier it's pretty damn easy to use i know there's ways you can do this in the node editor as well but i find this a little bit more intuitive to be honest and then all you need to simply do is add some nice shading and we can get some nice fluffy clouds dancing and if you're really cool you can put smoke on it like this animation do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me and Gumroad, you know what to do.